Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Due to popular demand and a lot of questions, I'm finally about to reveal my entire investment portfolio. Now indeed, it's probably not the best time to do so because you will see the numbers are very much red. Yeah, I'm definitely not an investment guru, but I just want to show my journey along the way, share with you my ups and downs and hopefully soon ups again. I think it might be interesting for you to see where I invested and how my investment portfolio developed. In order to check all my investments, I have different tools that I'm using, but one I've really started using for quite a while now is portfolio performance. That's not not a very popular tool it's actually very much for german speaking market but they also do have an english version i'm going to run you through the tool in a second but i think it's really really powerful because it can actually track most of the investment instruments out there only things i don't check in there is my real estate and my cash in the bank the rest is all there i do have another google master sheet where i track my entire net worth including property and cash but today i want to really focus on the investment part of it right so diving right in this is portfolio performance and if you want me to let me know in the comments i can do a full tutorial on the tool because at first it might be a little bit overwhelming but once you get a hang of it it's actually really really powerful and can give you much more insights and analysis of some of your investments compared to some of the websites out there plus it's free which as you know i really love right so here you see the entire portfolio and as you can see it looks really really bleak actually at the moment of course all the markets are down so it's no surprise there when you see over here that's basically my total portfolio and it has a value currently of 46,000 euros which you know is nice but it used to be significantly more as you can see here the delta which is basically what i'm down and you can see high volatility this is how much the stocks or crypto or in this case portfolio swings both ways up and down so the higher the volatility the more swings are in there and again looking at the market that's fairly predictable then you have a few more performance calculations down here uh, in case you want to track that plus your monthly returns you see you know some of the months that's basically by each month some of the months i was up even uh, but then again obviously there have been some massive corrections as well so overall that's quite painful to see and then a nice thing you can add over here also how you compare to the s p 500 so in 2021 you see over here i actually grew my entire portfolio by almost 60 percent versus the s p 500 only well that's actually quite high uh, by 37 and a half percent versus in 22 uh, the market is down 12 percent and i'm down 46 percent so that's why you see here my overall portfolio being down then i have my portfolio broken down into four different parts over here so you can see starting with the stocks uh, actually i actually have quite a small stock portfolio at the moment only 3.7 thousand euros in there because when crypto was booming i was actually selling a lot of my stocks and invest into crypto um good or bad who knows only time will tell but i actually brought quite a few positions down in there and i'll show you in a second uh by details exactly where I invested. So that's almost minus 3,000 uh, for the year so far. Then looking at ETFs, actually I only have one ETF, which is the S&P 500. I bought it through Vanguard, the VUSA, which is listed in Europe. And actually that's so far been my best performance. I pretty much maintain my balance here. I currently have just shy of 10,000 euros in there that remain fairly flat. That's always the power of investing in ETFs. You don't have these huge swings and overall you're going with the market. So of course, while the market was declining, overall it remained the most stable compared to many other investments product so i'm actually quite happy with this and my goal would really be to increase this number in the future to have more of my portfolio in etfs plus it actually pays me a dividend still a small number at the moment but hopefully more in the future then of course my biggest holding is cryptocurrency as you can see here at 28,000, which is nice but at the same time i'm down by almost 25,000 euros i mean that's a huge correction so i'm down pretty much 56 percent. so that's a huge correction of course my biggest holding of this bitcoin really corrected a lot during the year but again i'm long term about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general so I'm really fine with this I just don't look at it on a daily basis I usually do a monthly analysis and update of my portfolio but that's just the reality and part of investing and actually my best investment at the moment are p2b credits so this is actually using Bondora where I invest money and I get a payout of interest every single day of 6.5 percent interest per year and yeah, as you can see, I actually grew, I mean, it's a small amount comparatively, but 353 euros so far in terms of return. And uh, my total portfolio now is 4,500 and actually bigger than my stocks portfolio. And it's very predictable, right? Because I know what I'm getting. Of course, there's always the risk of creditors failing on their payments, but that's very unlikely. So I'm really confident this number will continue to rise and I will continue every single month to invest in this. Actually, there is a limit right now of 400 euros and that's what I will be doing every single month to make sure this 
this number grows and I have that consistent income every single month. So then there's a nice charting tool over here where you can see a graphical analysis of the S&P 500 in white versus my entire portfolio. And you can see here at some stage I was actually ahead of the market, but then eventually my portfolio turned probably the big crypto impact and I went below the S&P 500. Now another great visual overview I really like is the overall holdings in percentage. So you can see here Bitcoin is by far my biggest percentage with almost 40% of my entire portfolio. VUSA, which is the S&P 500 ETF that I'm buying, uh, that's almost 20%, followed by P2P Bondora, which is getting bigger and bigger, which I like and will continue to do so. And then Ethereum, which hasn't really taken off after the merge yet. But again, I'm bullish that it will continue to grow. And then Nexo. As you know, I'm a big Nexo lover. Uh, I use the platform every single day. And of course, it comes with a native Nexo token, which continues to grow true to cashback, staking, etc. So that holding naturally grows without me buying any more Nexo token. But every single day using the platform, that continues to grow and I think will eventually overtake Ethereum. And then a few other coins and stocks I'll go through in a second. Some more charting analysis, which is your different accounts, etc. And then we come to the statement of assets. So here I have basically an overview of all the various assets you have. So let's go from the top to bottom. So starting with Alphabet, which is Google, they actually only have a small position, as you can see, currently market value around 2000. And um, so basically I dropped by 555 five euros, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, is actually not that bad. And once again, long term, I think they will definitely recover nicely. Apple at the same time also, they had a few issues in recent months, uh, obviously supply chain issues, a lot of factors, macroeconomic factors impacting the company. Um, yeah, even though my position is quite small, I hope to uh, grow it in the future. Here I'm actually pretty much in line with what I bought. So only 63 euros down. Then moving on to BlackRock, my last stock in the portfolio. And there, once again, quite a small position, which I used to have a much bigger one, sold it. And then sadly, uh, had to rebuy at a, at a higher price point. But overall, I'm quite happy with BlackRock. They pay me a dividend and I hope to invest more with them in the near future. Then moving to my ETFs, which is VUSA. As you can see, I have 136 shares of VUSA, which is the S&P 500 basically. So this currently right now, I'm down only 795 out of you know quite a big amount of almost 10K. So that shows the power of market investing and index investing. So that's why I think this is really the future. And you can see here down here is a nice graph where you can actually see at what intervals I bought. I obviously dollar cost average my way up and I always advocate don't lump sum invest everything at once because you never know where the market will go. So that's why I continue to invest along the way. Now, obviously, now the market's going down, so I should continue to invest downward as well. But currently, I'm accumulating cash because I think there will be more market corrections to come. Now, moving on to the crypto portfolio, obviously, my biggest holding is Bitcoin. And I'm close to having finally my first full Bitcoin. So that will be actually my goal. You can see here, it's down by almost 16K. So the total holding at the moment, 18 and a half. So once again, here you see, you know, how a dollar cost averaged along the way. When you see here, a few at zero cost, that's basically when I got crypto rewards, whenever somebody signs up to a platform, I get free crypto. I account for at zero cost basically because it's given for free. Then of course my second biggest holding is Ethereum which I don't buy anymore. I just hold and see what happens. Hopefully once the market corrects now after the merge uh, it will eventually pick up. That's the hope. I'm quite happy with the position. I wouldn't want to add much more to it in the future. And then of course Nexo as I said before really love the Nexo platform. If you haven't tried Nexo yet then please use the link in my description below and you get $25 worth of Bitcoin to get you started. And that's really an amazing tool and I get more and more every single day through staking and every time I use my phone to pay and I get cashback rewards in Nexo, which is amazing. And lastly, I still have Polygon, which is a crypto I really love because it actually gives amazing staking rewards. I currently get 12% staking rewards per year paid every single day to me. It's just an amazing cryptocurrency. And again, the long-term potential looks very bright. And lastly, of course, my P2P Bondora holdings, which is here as well. Then you can, if you wanted to, track your cash and dividends. But you know, to be honest, I should do a better job in updating this. And here you can also track all your transactions uh, that you had, that you made, all the entries into the system. So in case you want to go back, change anything or add anything, you can do that very easily over here. So yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm definitely not a guru. I just want to share my investing journey with you. Yes, it's definitely bumpy right now. There's so much uncertainty in the market. The macroeconomic outlook looks extremely bleak. I think the coming months, we're going to see even more red out there. I think there's more market correction happening because right now, I think people, they only see the pain on the news, on their phone. When they go to the grocery shop, maybe they pay a little bit more. But overall, there hasn't been huge layoffs or major corrections in the market. So I think we're going to see 
even more pain in the coming month. So that's why it's a good opportunity to continue dollar cost averaging and buying some of your favorite stocks or shares that you think are attractive long term. I personally still wait out for early next year where I think we're going to see hopefully the bottom and then dollar cost average my way into some of more Bitcoin holdings and some of the stocks I like plus S&P 500 of course. Guys I hope you found this video useful. If you did please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, it means the world to me. If you have any questions about any of my holdings or about the tool pop them in the comments and I always get back to every single one of you. As always guys thank you so much for watching, stay healthy, get wealthy and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!